series in uh, animal physiology. So, we have finished the first class of the 11th week. So, we are to the second class. So, in the last class we talked about the respiratory system, where we talked about how the gaseous exchange takes place in the lungs as well as in the different tissues based on the partial oxygen pressure and the partial carbon dioxide pressure. So, now today what we will do, we will move on to talk a little bit about the vessels, vessels which are carrying bloods. So, Basically, we know that arteries are the ones which are carrying the oxygen rich blood, whereas the veins are the ones which are carrying the carbon dioxide laden blood. And most of you must have seen that the blood is being drawn for any kind of blood test or anything are from your arteries. So, uh, are from your veins, rarely you will see it from the arteries. So, now why is it easy? So, you will see you will see most of the veins are on the surface of the body, like you see those slight blue shades of vessels, those are your veins. So, there are some basic differences about this network and we have already talked about the fact that our cardiovascular system is essentially a closed loop system, right. So, today what we will do, we will talk about some of the qualitative anatomical features of the veins and the arteries, then we will talk about the network and then we will talk about the pressure differences at different part of the arteries, arterioles, capillaries, uh, arter, arterioles, capillaries and the veins, uh, venules and the veins. Okay. So, let us start off with, so we are into week 11. Lecture 2. L2. Okay. About anatomical features of the blood vessels. So, the two major blood vessels we are talking about are arteries and vein. Okay. Now, if you look at the cross section of the arteries, so it will be something like this. It is a much more thicker structure, because it has to withstand a lot of pressure, something like this. There are four layer structure, so the outer layer is called tunica externa, which is this layer we are talking about, and this is a complete vessel, because So, now in between tunica externa and the inner layer you have tunica media, which is out here, tunica media and then you have tunica interna, which is this layer, tunica interna and then you have internal elastic membrane, which is sitting out here, internal elastic membrane and you have the endothelial lining which is out here, absolutely inner core, 
endothelial lining and external elastic membrane is sitting here. If the internal elastic membrane is sitting here, your external elastic membrane is sitting out here. These elastic membranes are very essential because these elastic membranes are the ones which gives a flexibility into this structure. The inflation and all other possible options what it derives and in between you have tunica media has the elastic fibers. So, this is the basic architecture of a artery, a characteristic artery, but now if you look at the veins, the structure is not as thick as the artery structure. See every layer is kind of much more thinner. So, <laughs> again the same thing you have tunica externa, the shaded part you can continue shading this. So, this is tunica externa, then you have tunica media which is this layer and all these are muscle tissue and which are smooth muscle tissue and you have tunica interna. You must be missing something where are those external elastic membrane and internal elastic membrane. Actually, they are not really very prominent in this structure and then because they do not need it. Here you have the endothelial lining. Okay. So, this is how a typical artery and a vein looks like. Now, if you differentiate distinguishing feature about them. So, these are usually round with relatively thick wall with relatively thick wall this is the artery okay just putting a this is one critical point whereas in terms of the veins, if you look at them, they are usually flattened, usually flattened or collapse like a structure or collapsed with relatively thin wall. thin wall. Now, if you look at this structure in a cross section, they will look more like this. If, if this is an artery, the vein will look more like, just want to use another color. The cross section of the vessel, the vein will look like this. So, which exactly matches the description I am giving out here. Okay. So, this is in a cross section. Now, second point in tunica interna, so in three different level we will be doing it. Tunica interna, T i stand for tunica interna. At tunica inter interna, if you look at the endothelium, usually ripple due to vessel constriction, usually rippled and that you can see the rippling you can see out here, right. You see this rippling, okay. So, essentially this structure is more like a rippled structure, usually rippled due to vessel, vessel constriction and why the vessels are constricted? Because you have these two internal elastic membrane 
and external elastic membrane due to vessel constriction okay whereas the contrary out in the veins this is often smooth because you do not have these kind of external and internal elastic membranes okay internal elastic membrane present internal elastic membrane iem which is this is present whereas external elastic membrane internal elastic membrane is absent in the veins now if you talk about tunica media the second layer tm now in the tunica media layer it is thick dominated by smooth muscle thick dominated by smooth muscle and elastic fiber okay whereas in the veins this is thin dominated by smooth muscle and collagen fiber dominated by smooth muscle and collagen fibers. So, you are seeing that there are differences which are emerging out of it and in terms of external elastic membrane EEM which is your this is structure EEM this particular structure is present in the arteries, but absent in the veins. So, it is you have seen the pajamas which having this thread. So, you see the wrinkles it is almost like that what we are talking about. Okay. Now, coming back external elastic membrane is missing here. Then comes your tunica externa which is the outermost layer in the tunica externa collagen it is made up of collagen and elastic fibers whereas typical vein this is made of collagen elastic fiber and smooth muscle collagen elastic fiber and smooth muscle. Now, having said this now what we will do we will try to build up the how the vessel. So, we have seen that the vessel is are starting from the heart through the iota superior and the inferior side of the body and then it reaches the different sites, different organs, different systems where they pass on the oxygen and picks up the carbon dioxide. So, and that happens in a extremely fine network of capillaries. So, essentially what is happening a big tube is coming it is narrowing down, it is narrowing down, narrowing down, narrowing down, it becomes capillaries, it becomes a network of capillaries and then this network of capillaries again merges to make another vessel which we call as venule, which is picking, taking the heart back, uh, taking the blood back to the heart. So, that is what we have been emphasizing from the beginning that it is a closed loop system. So, now while this this whole thing is happening. There are changes in the diameter, there are changes in the exchange area of the blood vessel, there are several changes which are happening and what we will be doing now, we will explore that how this vessel diameter, how that is changing, what are the anatomical changes which are happening in the vessel. So, if you look at the iota, 
Now, in the light of this, what I just now taught you. So, if you look at the iota, all these layers tunica interna, tunica media, tunica externa, and these external elastic membrane, internal elastic membrane, these will be really, really thicker and stronger because it has to withstand a huge amount of pressure by virtue of which blood is being pumped from the heart. So, this anatomical feature is exceptionally well observed for the arteries in the iota, followed by no, then, then there is narrowing. Then we reach to something called capillaries where you have fenestration, fenestration means the windows, okay, where the maximum exchange of gaseous exchange is taking place. So, okay. so let us try to explore now how the vessel architecture is slowly changing over a period of its journey from the heart to the different organelle and we have already seen that the kind of exchange which takes place in the lungs. So, if you remember in the lungs I told you that there is a lot of bifurcation which are happening. So, just for a note before I get into this taking you back to the previous lecture. So, if you look at it when the blood arrives here, so, so the way the blood vessels arrives here, they are very thicker vessels, okay. but then these blood vessels become thinner, thinner, thinner and till this is essential because as I will be going through, so this is how it looks like. Okay. And I will change the color to give you a feel, this is how it is happening. Each one of them are eventually pulling together. So, you will see almost like you are bringing in a loop curves back, curves back, thinner, thinner, thinner and goes back. Okay. So, at what you have to do is something like this. This architectural thing should be clear to you. A lot of change and everything is taking place and then It is a continuous structure with two different colors, the one which is bringing, the one which is taking it back. This understanding will be very, very essential while we will be talking about the vessel geometry, because the one which are bringing in the beginning, they are thicker and the thickening is slowly narrowing down, narrowing down, narrowing down and this and, and there are a lot of branching which happens here lot, lot, lot of branching and this uh, structure can become very complex when you realize that how these branchings are. Okay. So, this part is very essential that you understood because this is what we are going to come now, how at the level of the capillaries, the exchange takes place and how the surface area and all other feature changes. So, I will close in here. In the next class, we are going to talk about little bit more about the vessel architecture and the pressure they withstand. Thank you.